Before we start our praise and worship uh, celebration this morning, uh, iniinbitan ko po kayong samahan kami ng CHCC uh, music team into a short prayer. Yes, Heavenly Father, Lord, we glorify your name this morning. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, for we survived again another month, Heavenly Father. Lord, thank you for a month filled with blessings, Heavenly Father. A month filled with problems, Lord God. But Lord, Maraming maraming salamat that despite of the problems, Panginoon, nandyan ka pa rin para sa amin. Thank you for being such a good, good father. Thank you for being our redeemer. Thank you for being our savior. Lord, these songs of praises, Panginoon, ay para sa iyo at para sa inyong kapatid. Maraming maraming salamat po, Ama. Just let me pray.
just like a tree that grows by the water. Let the strong winds blow. Like a child secure in the love of a father, never letting go, I cling to you in every situation, no room for fear and doubt, no matter what I'm facing, the song of my heart is ringing out. Promise I will not be moved. Nothing can tear us apart. My faith won't be shaken. I'm in God in you. In dead and in life, you remain the song of my heart. Whoa. tried and true, you never change. When all is sinking sand, you're a strong foundation. Everything else will fade, but you remain. In every situation, in every situation, no room for fear and doubt. No matter what I'm facing, the song of my heart is ringing out. I stand on your promise, I will not be moved. Nothing can tear us apart. My fate won't be shaken, I'm in God in you. In dead and in life, you remain the song of my heart. Oh. Faithful you've been, faithful you are With every breath that I take With every beat of my heart God, I will sing to the world Faithful you've been, faithful you are With every breath that I take With every beat of my heart God, I will sing to the world Faithful you No room for fear and doubt No matter what I'm facing The song of my heart is ringing out I stand on your promise I will not be moved Nothing can tear us apart My faith won't be shaken I'm in God in you In dead and in life you remain The song of my heart Oh
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, salamat sa Diyos at magkakasama muli tayo ngayon. To, uh, Sunday celebration po. Ano. Sana hindi pa kayo nagsasawa sa akin kasi one week tayong ng Bible study. Ano po? Okay, bago po tayo magumpisa, uh, malalain po muna tayo. Panginoon, maraming pong salamat. Salamat, salamat po talaga sa buhay na binigay niyo sa amin at hindi lang yun. Uh, yung uh, alam namin na kasama ka namin sa araw-araw ay napakalaking uh, comfort and strength na binibigay sa amin, Panginoon. Salamat sa yung mga biyaya, sa yung protection, uh, lahat, Panginoon. Hindi po kayo nagkukulang sa amin. Sobrang pagmamahal po sa amin. Kaya naman ang puso namin nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat dahil sa inyong kaptapatan at kabutihan sa aming lahat. Dalangin namin, Lord, Panginoon, bigyan mo kami ng wisdom ngayong araw upang um, maintindihan po namin ang iyong uh, word for today, oh Lord God, at sana matanggap namin yung mga revelations na gusto mong uh, malaman namin, Panginoon, at uh, maisapuhay po namin, Panginoon. Salamat po, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. So, kumusta naman po kayo? Sana okay kayo lahat dyan. No po? Um, last week, nag-discuss po si Ate Chen ng uh, Isaiah 53. Yun po yung prophecy ng ano lahat ang paghihirap ng Panginoon Jesus na kanyang dadanasin uh, when the time comes na mag-sacrifice na siya para sa lahat. And napakaganda lang na may say, makita mo talaga na Grabe naman ang pagmamahal ng Diyos talaga. Walang kapantay. Walang katulad. Ano po. So ngayon, um, tinanong ko rin ang Panginoon. Nag-pray ako, ano ba dapat ang uh, share ko po sa inyo ngayon. And uh, ito pong mensahe na to ang uh, siyang nag-reveal sa akin na ito dapat katuloy po nung Isaiah 53. Uh, Pagbulay-bulayan pa natin yung sakripisyo ni Jesus. Total Lenten season naman po. Ano po? Okay, yung topic po natin ngayon ay the power of communion. Medyo doctrine ulit tayo. Ngayon ko ba, ang gusto ko sanang mga ishare eh, tungkol sa mga how to encourage, how to um, make your dreams come true, how to live a life of favor, mga ganyan. Pero... Ito yung mensahe ng Panginoon na, na gusto niya talagang i-share uh, ko sa inyo kasi ito po yung mga revelations din na natutunan po namin. Okay po, mag-umpisa na po tayo at uh, puntahan po natin yung Luke 22, uh, 14 to 20. Ito po yung Last Supper ni Jesus with His disciples. Disciples. When the hour came, Jesus and his disciples reclined at the table and he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. No? For I tell you, I will not eat again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not Drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Yun po yung um, kaya naman, di ba, nire-remember natin siya through the Holy Communion na tinatawag po natin. Ano po? Nag-wonder po ba kayo bakit sa bread inihalon tulad ni Jesus ang kanyang katawan? No? This bread is my body. No? Meron pa nga eh, later on pag-aralan natin I am the bread of life, sabi niya. So, paano po ba yung process na paggawa ng bread? At paano siya nakaka-relate sa body ni Jesus? No? Well, uh, ang comparison na ito ay yung paggawa ng bread at saka kung ano yung sacrifice o yung paghihirap na Jesus na, na ginawa niya para sa ating lahat. Okay po. 
So, unang proseso ay mixing. So, imimix natin yung mga ingredients, um, flour, egg, uh, hindi ako marang mag-bake eh, pero alam ko may sugar, ganyan. No? So, imimix lahat yan, no? until yung individual ingredients hindi mo na mahalata. No? Hindi mo na siyempre alam kung alin ang asukal doon at saka flour kasi mix-mix na. Ano po? And then, kneading yung uh, gagawa na ng dough. Pag i-mix, no, ibibit nila. Minsan, sinusuntok-suntok pa nila yan. Niro-roll nila. May roller pa silang mga ginagamit. ba diba? Meron ding process ng forming. Siyempre, isi-shape na nila according to what they prefer. Halimbawa, star. O pag Christmas, may mga ginger. Ano pa yung mga yan, no? Bread, pag ginger bread. And then, baking. Subjecting it to high temperature para ma-evaporate na yung liquid, mag-combine-combine uh, na, at maging bread, no? Ngayon, uh, kung aralin po natin yung nangyaring pahirap na ginawa ng mga soldiers kay Jesus, no? Doon po sa Matthew 27, medyo marirealize nga natin mayroong nang similarity sa bread. Ano po ba nangyari sa Matthew 27? Sabi doon, When the governor soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. Wow! A whole company of soldiers, ha? Yung isang tao, isang batalyon ang nagpalibot uh, sa kanya. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff on his right hand. They kneeled in front of him and mocked him. Hail the king of the Jews, they said. They spit on him and took the staff and struck him in the head again and again. After they mocked him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him, led him away to crucify him. Wow. No, binugbog, uh, winip, uh, isang batalyon ng soldiers ang umapi sa katawan ni Kristo. Kaya pala, dun sa Isaiah 52.14, Just as there were many were appalled at Him, no, marami daw uh, uh, nakakita sa Kanya na nagtataka, no? His appearance was so disfigured beyond recognition, no? beyond that of any man, and his form marred beyond human likeness. Di ba yung pinag-aralan natin kanina yung paano paggawa ng bread? Mix. So, si Jesus mix na yung sweat, yung mga flesh na naaalis, no, dahil sa ano, yung blood, nagmimix na rin, no, and sabi doon, he was Um, beaten beyond recognition dun sa kneading diba? wala na yung ingredients di mo na mahalata ang asukal ang flour, whatever no? egg, wala na kasi may punching may beating, nag scourging may whipping na ginawa sa katawan ni Kristo na parang tinapay na ang pakiramdam no? yung paggawa ng tinapay and then forming ito yung kunento kanina na They put a robe, they put on him, they, they give him a staff, at ito yung masakit, yung crown of thorns, no, na talagang may nabasa ako noon na sobrang matigas daw yung thorn na yon, no, and mocking him as king of the Jews. Parang yung pag-decorate din natin sa ano ah, sa bread, parang ganun, dinecoratean siya ng crown of thorns, binigyan siya ng robe and staff. And then, yung baking part, yun na yung carrying of the cross on a hot, very hot day. Whole body is aching. Parang lahat ng energy mo na ubus. Kasi tumulo na lahat ng liquid powies, no? Na evaporate na, no? And yung open wounds mo, patuloy na nag-flow yung blood. No? Kaya pala, no? Kaya pala bread yung paghalintulan ni Jesus sa kanyang katawan. 
na sabi niya, this is my body. This is given up for you. Pero yun mo yun, no? Okay, so, bakit naman ninilontulan ni Jesus yung his blood to the, the wine to his blood? Kasi nga, yung paggawa rin po ng wine, di ba, may crushing, pressing, yung halos maubos. Hindi lang halos. Para maubos yung juice. Parang ganun nangyari kay Jesus. Naubusan ng dugo. Yun po, yung kanyang kinamatay, di ba? Sobrang pahirap kasi until yung grape, hindi mo na marekognize. Siyempre na grape kasi napit-pit na yan, na ano na yan. Na press na ng husto, no? Until wala na. So, Jesus was bruised, beaten, until unrecognizable, di ba? And yung blood flows from his open wounds, losing enough blood to cause his death. So, bakit kaya um, gusto na Jesus na hiwalay yung kanyang pag, uh, you know, pwede naman yung ibinigay na minsan yung bread and ano, juice. Pero ito, hiniwalay niya, special talaga yung ginawa dun sa body. So, kung babalikan natin yung Isaiah 53 na sinab na kunento sa atin at si last week, sabi doon, Isaiah 53, 4, Surely He took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet, We considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced. I mean, pierced yung parang uh, kinawawa talaga, no? For our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Uh, pierced for our sins, crushed for our wrongdoings. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. Yung lahat ng ito, punishment. And by his wounds, we are healed. Ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Kung much much natin sinasabi ni Jesus na, This is my body which is given for you. O sabi dito, his wounds, we are healed. Ang sinasabi po dito, His body, His beaten, broken body, gave us deliverance from sickness and diseases. By His wounds, we are healed. No? And yung blood, by His blood, we are redeemed. Tama po. So, By His blood, we have been delivered from sin and death, which is the punishment or wages of sin, sabi nga po. So, dalawang bagay po pala dapat ang na-emphasize tuwing communion. The crushing of the body for is for our iniquities and by His wounds we are healed. So, ulitin ko po ah, yung ginawa pong... Um, sacrifice ng katawan no, gave us deliverance from sickness and diseases yung blood gave us deliverance from sin and death no so napakagandang uh, yun po yung napakagandang realization na um, marami talagang biyaya ang nangyari dahil sa sacrifice ni Jesus We have been delivered from sin and we have been delivered from sickness and diseases because by His wounds, we are healed. Oh. Kasi yun nga yung perception natin dati, akala natin, yung buong sacrifice na yun is, is a sin offering. Kasi dati kailan nilang mag, ano, ng lamb, patayin uh, as a sin offering, di ba? Pero hindi naman nila binubugbog yung ano, yung lamb o yung bird bago patayin, di ba? Para sin offering. E yun po yung kaibahan ng ginawa po ni Jesus para sa atin. Noon po yung blood ng lamb noon ay 
yung buo no dito mula scourging tumutulo hanggang nakarating sa crosses dahil sa beating so may pagkakaiba po yung uh, ginagawang sakripisyo noon with animals at ito talagang si Jesus ginawa niya po lahat no his beaten body bruised and and everything for the deliverance Uh, from diseases and sickness. Sana po naintindihan po natin yun. Ano? And yung blood is yung kagaya na rin ng blood noon na sinasacrifice. Pero temporary po noon. Kasi yearly po nila ginagawa yung sacrifice ng animals. But with Jesus, He died once and for all po. No? And He saved us all by His blood. So, when, when we partake of the Holy Communion, we are not only remembering our deliverance from sin, but also our deliverance from sickness and diseases. Sana hindi po natin i-discount yung sacrifice of the body na ginawa ni Jesus for all of us. Um, doon po sa ano, uh, 1 Corinthians 11.27, actually sa Corinthians 11, chapter 11, nag, uh, kinakausap ni Paul yung mga tao na bakit ganon? When you go for and meet with brothers and sisters for the breaking of the bread, bakit ganon? Na parang piyasta. Tapos kakain mo na yung mayaman, tapos uubusin yung pagkain, pagdating na mahihirap, wala na silang manadatnan. Sabi niya, at bakit kayo pupunta para kumain doon? Wala ba kayong mga bahay para doon kayo kumain? Yun ang sermon niya sa mga taga-Corinthians. Kasi they are going there for breaking of the bread, pero hindi naman na nila yun ang ginagawa. So sabi niya doon sa... 1 Corinthians 11.27 So then, whoever eats the bread and drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat uh, bread and drink from the cup. No. Oh naman, importante naman na ito, hindi lang to ritual ah, na ginagawa yung kumunyon. Sabi ni Jesus yan, kumanya, do this in remembrance of me. So, ginagawa natin yun in remembrance of him and obeying also yung kanyang kuman. So, sabi niya, do this in remembrance of me. Ngayon, meron siyang binanggit dito na verse 29, For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why, ano daw yung reason? Yung hindi nagdi-discern ng body, ito daw. That is why many among you are weak and sick and a number of you have fallen asleep. When we do not discern the body or discriminate yung body, When we eat and drink, we eat and drink judgment on ourselves. Kaya daw may mga weak and sick and a number have fallen asleep. Yung fallen asleep po dito yung, yung namatay. Kaya nga po, um, kaya nga po yung sinasabi ko kanina na when we remember the Lord in the Holy Communion, we remember the deliverance of sickness and diseases and the deliverance of sin no hindi po pwedeng ipag walang bahala yung sacrifice ng body oh, yung redemption po natin as a whole na syempre yun syempre nasaktan yung body tumulo yung blood na nail yung cross oo pero dapat hindi po natin kalimutan yung by his wounds we are healed ano po? Okay. Um, pag-aralan natin yung uh, bread of life. Idagdag lang natin itong uh, 
bread of, yung sinabi niya about bread of life kasi doon natin makikita na bakit importante ang communion ano po importante that we remember him so additional po ito sa ating revelation kanina that the sacrifice on the body heals our wounds and the sacrifice the blood bring redemption to all ano po So, basahin natin yung John 6.48. Sabi dito, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh which I gave, I give for the life of the world. So, dito talaga, no? Bread is my flesh. Bread is my body. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Siyempre, no? As matalinghaga magsalita si Jesus, eh, itong mga to, ano naman, face value, kung ano yung narinig yun na, no? Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks from my blood remains in me and I am them. Just as the living Father sent me, I live because of the Father. So the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died. But whoever feeds on this bread will live forever napakalalim po ano po medyo um, kailangan talaga ng wisdom po sa mga salita ng Panginoon para maintindihan natin so pag meron po tayong binabasa sa Bible, hihingi po tayo ng wisdom for understanding talaga po ang sinasabi ni Jesus itong action of you eat my flesh you drink my blood. Ayun, syempre, hindi naman, ano, syempre yung, kasi kaya nga sinabi niya na, yung bread is my body, yung wine is my blood. Kasi hindi naman talaga totoong, you eat his flesh and drink his blood. Kaya sabi nung, ano, nag-argue na sila. <laughs> Paano mo naman, hindi naman tayo cannibals, di ba? Parang ganun. But I think, no, this passage in John 6 is talking about communion. Because here, sinasabi ni Jesus, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me. No? Remains in me. Kasi we remember Him always. Eh. When we do this communion, when we drink of, ay, when we eat the bread and drink of the wine, no, it's like we eat His flesh and drink His blood, but, and we remain in Him. So, This John 6.48, John 6.48 to 58, is a picture of what do we do in yung communion. The blessings of doing communion as uh, given dun sa John 6. Pa, ano? Whoever eats my flesh and drink my blood remains in me and I am them. Ano po ito? This is about the union and intimacy with God. We remain in Him. No? And I and them, sabi pa niya. Maalala niyo yung John 15:5, yung I am the brand, vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much wood. So, ito talaga, we, we are part of God. We, we have union, we have intimacy with Him when we do communion. Pero yun nga po, doing the communion in a worthy 
manner, hindi yung unworthy manner na parang sanay ka na lang na yun ang ginagawa, kaya hindi mo na, no? Hindi po, yung po talaga yung inaalala, yung deliverance from sickness and diseases and deliverance from sin. Sabi dun sa verse 57, Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. So, may tinatang siyang feeds on me. Ano pong ibig sabihin? Nourishment from God. We take nourishment from God every time we take the Holy Communion. Wow. Hindi po ito yung baka inisip yung vitamins and minerals na ano ha. Yung nourishment po na ito is well, God made our body. Ano po? Yung nourishment na yan, yung parang yung uh, we, He is the vine, we are the branches. Yung nourishment and a flow sa vine goes to the branches. Ganun po yun, no? So, nourishment po. He, anyone who feeds on me will live because of me. So, yung po yung sinasabi niya dito, nourishment. So, ano pa po ang blessings of doing communion? Eternal life. Saan po natin nabasa yun? Sabi niya, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh which I gave for the life of the world. So, saan po yung world dito sa earth? So, I is talking about eternal life. A full life on earth. Wow. Grabe naman ang blessing pala talaga. Ano po? Kasi, when we remember Him, talagang we are communing with Him, we are getting nourishment from Him, so we will enjoy a full life. Ituturo po natin mamaya yung at paano ba natin gawin yung Holy Communion na makabuluhan po ano po. So, ano pang sabi niya? Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood as eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. No. Yung eternal life po, hindi po yun yung hindi mamamatay. While on earth po, ano? Yung full life. Yung my peace, my love, my joy, my providence, my protection. Lahat po ng, ng kabutihan ng Diyos na marireceive natin while we are on earth. Yun po yung eternal life na isa. At may eternal life din na after we are raised up from the dead. So, eternal life in on earth and in heaven and resurrection from eternal life on earth, resurrection from the dead, eternal life in heaven. Yan po yung uh, blessings na sinasabi niya dito kasi dun sa pagkwento niya ng John 6 yun talaga yung yung communion na ginagawa po natin kung babasahin lang po natin yun so ano po yung response natin dito po ano um, una we have to respect the holy communion no? we should partake in a worthy manner no hindi yung uh, parang fiesta Tapos nag-enjoy na tayo lahat. Tapos nakalimutan na natin na, ay, ito na yun. Ito na yung breaking of bread. Ako, hindi po yun. Ha? Importante po na tama po yung pagkakaindindi po natin doon sa um, breaking of bread and, and drinking the wine in remembrance of the Lord. No po? So, i-respect po natin when, when we do the Holy Communion may respect po dahil yun po ay sakripisyo ng Panginoon. And then, second is remember His sacrifice, no? Reco recount what His sacrifice meant. Anong ibig ko pong sabihin doon? Diba sabi natin kanina, His sacrifice, His, uh, yung bodily sacrifice, yung tinanggap ng katawan niyang punishment, give us deliverance from sickness and diseases. Yung life, uh, blood flowing, uh, na nawala sa kanya, nag-cause ng kanyang death, yun po yung deliverance of sin. Ano po? 
So, pag nag-partake po tayo, may, meron po akong example dito na prayer that I really hope na kahit similar po to this yung ating pong mapag-pray when we partake the Holy Communion. So, ganito po yun, ano po. Lord Jesus, on the night He was betrayed, He took bread, and when He gi- had given thanks, He broke the bread and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So, habang hawak niyo po yung bread, ano po. Lord, thank you for allowing your body to be bruised and beaten and wounded because of my sins. Thank you for taking all the hard punches and 39 lashes on your back for my wrongdoings. Thank you that by your wounds, I am healed. And then, pwede niyo pong sabihin, I am healed of whatever you are feeling po. I am healed of diabetes, I am healed of heart problems, I am healed of migraine, and so on and so forth. And say, Lord, thank you that by your wounds, I am healed. And then, you you can take the cup and say, in the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me, said Jesus. For and whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. So yung prayer po natin dyan, bago natin unumin is, alimbawa po, thank you Lord for shedding your blood that washed away my sins. I'm forgiven, justified, redeemed, reconciled to the Father. Because of your sacrifice, I am saved. Because of your finished work on the cross, I have become righteous. I have become an adopted son and daughter of God, a co-heir of Christ. Thank you that you have given me the Holy Spirit as a guarantee of my salvation. Thank you that you died for me on the cross. May your name be praised and be glorified. Amen. Kahit hindi po ganun eksakto kung sana po ma- ma-acknowledge po natin yung buong kinawa ni Jesus para sa atin pong lahat. Um, so yun lang po yung ating sharing ngayong gabi. Kaya napakaganda rin po na nag-umpisa sa Isaiah 53 yung sharing na Ate Che. And then we learn all about the blessings of the sacrifice of Jesus sa buong week ng pag-aaral natin ng, ng uh, Bible study. At itong Sunday nga po yung pag-uusap natin tungkol po sa communion and how important it is because it gave us deliverance from sickness and diseases and deliverance from our sins and transgressions. So, I pray on na sana po ay nagkaroon po ng bagong revelation po sa inyo. Itong mga na-share po sa inyo, ito rin po yung revelation ng Panginoon sa amin. Kaya, we are so grateful that the Lord is enlightening us. And uh, let's pray, brothers and sisters. Panginoon, maraming salamat sa yung revelation sa amin. Thank you, Lord God. We we can live with without fear, and we can live without worry, knowing you have delivered us from sin, you have delivered us from sickness, you have delivered us from pestilence, mga COVID, mga ko anong variant. You have delivered us from them all, Lord God. Salamat, Panginoon, because everything was done. So we would come. Thank you, Panginoon. And uh, may your name be glorified forever. In Jesus' name we praise. Amen po and amen. Salamat po muli. Just like a tree that grows by the water Let the strength
strong winds blow I will not move Just like a child secure in the love of a father Never letting go I cling to you In every situation No room for fear and doubt no matter what I'm facing, the song of my heart is ringing out. I stand on your promise, I will not be moved. Nothing can tear us apart. My faith won't be shaken, I'm anchored in you. In dead and in life, you remain the song of my heart. Whoa. tried and true, you never change. When all is sinking sand, you're a strong foundation. Everything else will fade, but you remain. In every situation, in every situation, no room for fear and doubt. No matter what I'm facing, the song of my heart is ringing out. I stand on your promise, I will not be moved. Nothing can tear us apart. My fate won't be shaken, I'm anchored in you. In dead and in life, you remain the song of my heart. Oh. Faithful you've been, faithful you are With every breath that I take With every beat of my heart God, I will sing to the world Faithful you've been, faithful you are With every breath that I take With every beat of my heart